Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, it is time for some pulling some orders. We're going to call this a reseller vlog and we're just going to kind of chit chat as we pull orders. Not a ton going out, but I have one big money bolo, which you're also going to see in my This Is My Bolo. So if you watch all of my videos, this will be a repeat. But in the This Is My Bolo video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of videos from Bolo Buddies members where they do a 60 second video. If you guys have not seen those videos, you have got to go check them out because it's actually my Bolo Buddies members sharing their bolos. So they come on for about 60 seconds and tell you about a bolo item. It's super fun. And I have a whole series and I have, I think a couple where it's just anybody could participate. So I may do that again. If you guys would be interested in me doing that and opening it up to everyone, even people that are not members, please let me know down in the comments. Yes, I would be interested. All right, so I'm gonna show you the first item I sold and we're gonna go grab it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, also at the end of this video, AEG's Estate Treasures sent me a box of plush, so I'm going to be unboxing that. And I also wanted to let you guys know that they have reseller lots available in their eBay store. I'm gonna link them down below, so you guys definitely go down there and check out their store. If you click on that little heart, that is going to alert you when they post new items available and there is also a coupon available. All right, this item is in Tote G. I picked it up at the Goodwill for $1, sold it for $10.53 plus shipping. Okay, the light is going to come on. Sorry, here it comes. So we are in the Tote room and the buyer paid shipping. I have had this listed since 2020. This is a super long tail item, but um, hey, it's sold. I always say list it and forget it. And this is why, because, you know, at times like this, when sales are slower, this is a slower time of year. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that their sales are down. Let me know if that's you. Um, how are your sales? Are you selling a lot? Are you selling what you would expect to be selling at this time of year? Or are your sales just slow? Um, I've talked to a few of my YouTuber friends and they are like, what is going on? Um, I have been listing like a machine. Sales aren't great, but I mean, I every sale is a sale. So to me, this has been listed over a year, over a year, over what, goodness, almost three years. And I'm just like thankful for the sale. You know what I'm saying? So list it and forget it. That's why I say it. That's why I don't pull inventory. I don't, if I've listed it, I am not pulling it out of my store. I am going to wait for it to sell. And this is why. On slow days, things sell that are unexpected. And let me show you what I sold because I'm rambling. Could not find Toji. So I'm going to slide this one over. Show you guys how I do it. I work my muscles. This is this works for now. This works for now. Ooh, Tote G needs filled up. Tote G, this stuff... A lot of it's been in here a long time. Thankfully, this didn't get broken. Um, it is a cute little plate. Dollar at the Goodwill. It is uh, Peter Rabbit. Nothing special, but super cute, right? So, a dollar from the Goodwill. $10, I think, and 53 cents. I'll pop up a screenshot. Buyer paid shipping. I think they were all in for like $19 and something. So, again, happy for the sale. All right, so you guys have heard me talk about uh, sourcing lego duplos at the goodwill bins and this is an example of why i do that i do part some of those out this one is a mrs potts and cogsworth disney beauty and the beast replacement blocks i had to read it and this is what it looks like i sold these for eight dollars the buyer was all in for fourteen dollars and 17 cents and these are over in tote 29 let's go grab it I just got my American Bubble Boy bubble wrap subscription. Whoop, whoop. If you guys are looking for bubble wrap, um, I am using American Bubble Boy and I definitely recommend it. And I do have a referral link down in the description of the video if you guys want to check it out. And they are selling coffee now. So um, American Bubble Boy. Down in the description of the video. 
I forgot to mention, American Bubble Boy, free shipping. You gotta love free shipping. Oh, I'm looking for tote 29, talking to you guys about bubble wrap. Oh yeah, remember 29 is always the easy one to find. It's right here. The not so easy part is finding the item. Look at all these little things. A lot of these things come from the Goodwill bins. See, we've got some, here's a little Duplo, how I listed that separately. It's here, it's here. I'm gonna pop off here, find it, and I will be right back. I found it, it took forever. My husband is right up there, so I have to be quiet. Um, okay, the next one is in tote 25. It's almost midnight. I, I recorded my videos tonight first and I'm doing my shipping second, so I have to be super quiet. Okay, we're over here at tote 25 and I see right here what I'm looking for. And I can't remember where I got this. I believe I bought a dollhouse and I ended up just selling the items with the dollhouse and got rid of the dollhouse. I do that sometimes. So this is what sold and I'll pop up a screenshot of what that looks like. It sold for $25 plus shipping. This next item has been listed for like 10 years. It was a multi-quantity item. I had a ton. I've sold a ton. I don't have very many left. I sold this for $6.20 plus shipping. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky or not, but I'm looking for one of these. Some of them have the tag, some of them do not. The one I sold has a tag. So, um, that's not it. It actually has the tag, which I'm hoping didn't get pulled off. Oh no, oh no, where is it? So this is just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff in this tote. But I'm gonna look through here and try to find the one with the original tag and hope that it's here. I'll be right back. Found it. Bam. Super easy to list, super easy to ship, multi-quantity item. I may have had it listed for 10 years, but they're still selling. And it, again, slow weekend, Another sale that's been listed for a long time. List it and forget it. And I'm not saying that's for everyone, but that works for me. All right, Bola Buddies. So I mentioned at the beginning, slow sales. Um, I'm hearing this in my Facebook group. I'm hearing this from my YouTube friends. I think it's just happening. I put a little survey out on my uh, community page, and this was the response I got. So the majority of people are having slower sales. Are some people thriving right now? Yes, but there could be many things that go into that equation. So based on this right here, we really don't know what variables come into play as to why those people are having increased sales when maybe you or I are having slower sales than normal. Would I say that my sales are slower than normal? Maybe a little bit, but I also know there's things that I can be doing to increase my sales that I am not doing. Um, I have started listing daily again. Um, there for a while, I was not listing daily and I noticed a dip. So that is the biggest thing that I think that you can do to increase your sales is list every day. List, list, list. Um, if you miss a day, do I think it's a huge deal? Personally, I don't, but you know, I've heard other people say, have different opinions. I'm just here to give you my opinion. Another thing that you can do that I am not doing is you can end stale items and relist them. I'm trying to do a little bit here and there, but my schedule is jam packed. So um, I just do what I can when I can. not I am a list it and forget it. As you're gonna see in this video, I have had some things sell that have been listed for a very long time. Um, lots of variables also that go into this. How much space do you have? Uh, do you wanna donate the items? Do you just wanna keep them listed until they sell? I feel like for me, my personal decision is I have the space. So if I have spent spent and invested time into listing that item, there is no reason for me to unlist that item and get rid of it. It will sell eventually. I showed you a couple items. One sold three year, uh, took three years to sell. One sold after being listed, I think for like 10 years, but it was a multi-quantity listing and I have been selling them over those 10 years multiple times. So I don't know if you count that or not, but either way, it's been listed a long time. So 
I say list it and forget it. Does that work for you? Do you agree with that or disagree with that? Let me know down in the comments because I'm sure a lot of you um, disagree with that. Another thing you can do is cross post your items. Um, if eBay is slow, get your items on other platforms. Does it cost money for a cross posting service? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Are you gonna make that money back with the sales that you generate from being on multiple platforms? Yes. Does it take time? Yes, but you are going to sell more because you're going to get different eyes on your items. So when I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari, different people are buying on those platforms. Those people that buy on those platforms may not buy on eBay. Also, there's a lot of people that just sell hobby level on those platforms and they use their credits instead of cashing that out into their bank account, they just buy other items. So that is something to definitely think about if you are not cross posting. Am I saying cross posting is for everyone? Absolutely not. You have to decide what is good for your business. Um, I use List Perfectly and I love it. I've been using it since 2019. There is a video down in the description that will show you how to use List Perfectly. For me, I like to see how things work before I invest my money in them. So check out that video. And if you watch it and it seems like something that's gonna be a good fit for you, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES and that is gonna get you 30% off your first month. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few more tips and then we are gonna go back into pulling orders. Um, other things that you can do, create coupons. And I have a video, it looks like this. You guys can go watch it. Um, you can go in and send coupons to your followers, you can send coupons to people who have purchased from you in the past, and you can create coupons that show up in your store when people click on your store, and it's in the sidebar. So it can be an, it's an, an, it can be an incentive, like buy one, get one 25% off, or something like that. So that's going to encourage somebody to maybe purchase two items from you instead of one. The final thing is sending offers. Send out offers. Um, I try to do this every single day on all the platforms that I'm on. Sometimes I get behind and I don't get it done. I did a video on a day that I sent out 170 offers because I was super behind, only like two days. But for me, that's super behind. I am usually on it, doing it multiple times a day because sending offers generates sales. So when I sent out those 170 offers, in this video, I talk about what happened. Was it absolutely crazy? No, but did it work? Yes. So check out that video and let's continue pulling some more orders that sold. All right, we're going back into the tote room and look at my eBay sign, how cool is that? Um, that's my backdrop, all the jeans. Everybody's like, what's your backdrop? Did you make curtains out of jeans? Nope, those are just jeans I need to list <laughs> that I'm probably never gonna list. All right, so let's look at what I sold next. What did I sell next? I just lost my train of thought. Mm. This is me. This is me forgetting. I do know one thing I sold and it's in tote M and you're gonna see this in another video very soon. All right. Where are you at, Totem? It's supposed to be in here, but it doesn't. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. It's a puff -a lump. It is a puff -a lump, and you're going to find out where I got this. I'm not going to tell you right now because you're going to see it in another video, but these puff -a lumps are definitely a bolo. Um, I think this sold for like $49 in some sense. I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys and show you what it looks like. Little cutie with some stains, still a bolo. And I got it free and you'll find out, like I said, in a future video of who gave it to me for free. The next item is over here in Craft Tote 2. And I am looking for a cross stitch kit that I sold for $15.00. And I do have multiples. Is this Craft Tote 2 or is Craft Tote 2? Yeah, this is Craft Tote 2. Why can't I find it? Hmm. I may. Let me pop off here and find it and I'll be right back. All right, here it is. Autumn Harvest Sampler. Needles and Hoops. Sold it for $15 and I picked this up at an estate uh, clean out. So probably have a dollar or less in this. 
All right, this next item is in Tote M also. It's right here, and you can't see what it is, but it says Squirrel. It is a salt and pepper shaker that I picked up at a flea market for $1. Took a best offer of $10. This sold really quickly. Um, buyer paid shipping, and I will pop up a screenshot for you guys. It's a flea market that I don't go into very often, and they had a ton of salt and pepper shakers, so I went ahead and took a chance at a dollar a piece. A lot of them um, I haven't even touched yet, so just listed a few, and... We'll see how it goes. 10 bucks on this one. Okay, I don't do a whole ton of shoes, but I did pick these up and not by choice. Actually, a person at the Goodwill Bins that uh, usually gives Dad Planet items came up to me and he's like, hey, do you want these? Dad Planet wasn't there that day. And I was like, you know, I really don't do shoes, but I took them and I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can sell them. They are a pair of Jack Purcell Converse. This is what they look like. I mean, they're kind of heavy, so I probably paid about four bucks for them, and I sold these for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. I will more than likely either leave these in the bag or take them out of the bag and wrap them in bubble wrap and put them in a 15 by 8 by 6 USPS mail box. Um, you can get those free from USPS. These types of things fit great if they don't have a box, and um, but you do want to make sure that you wrap them or cover them in something so they don't get scuffed so i'll probably bubble wrap these i just wanted to show off my money pile yep 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 that's all my money pile <laughs> yes that's my money pile okay i sold another pair of shoes incredibly right incredibly incredible incredibly i don't think that's a word but i don't sell a lot of shoes but i sold two pair today that's pretty incredibly that's my new word. We'll pick up Doc Martens if I see them. I got these at a garage sale for $5 and they're in pretty fantastic shape. I took a best offer of $38 for those and the buyer paid shipping and the buyer paid shipping on these as well. The last item is my big money bolo that I sold for a best offer of $100. It is an antique vintage gold filled mother of pearl parasol umbrella handle from the 19th century. Say so what? Here it is. And you'll see this in my This Is My Bolo. But I sold this bad boy for $100. I'm so excited about it because I had no idea what it was. And I picked it up for two bucks at a garage sale and got home. And yep, it was definitely a bolo. I bought it this summer. So definitely worth the wait. All right, bolo buddies. That is a few of my items going out this weekend. That would be from Saturday after I shipped until Sunday night. Um... So not a whole lot. Sales are slow, but just keep on listing, keep on working hard, and hopefully the sales will come in. We have an offer on a dress I think I'm going to take on eBay right now. But, um, you know, when sales are slow, I'm more tempted to take an offer. So I sent out a bunch of offers today. So hopefully some of those will get some bites. I did it kind of late in the day. So hoping for some sales tomorrow. It is what it is. Just keep listing. Just keep working hard and um, list, list, list. All right, Bolo Buddies, it is time to check out this plush box that was sent to me from a viewer. Let's get started. All right, you guys, a viewer sent me some plush as a um, thank you gift. And I am going to unbag it here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to list everything. So, um, we're just going to get started and see what we have in here. Plush is awesome. I love plush. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm so excited. Okay. So first off, we have this little owl. So cute. It's made by Aurora. So I am going to list all of these items and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm listing everything. I don't know who this little guy is, but he is cuteness. He is by... Fisher Price 2013. I may hit throw him in the wash, give him a little bath, but he is pretty cute. All right, we've got um, Eeyore. I couldn't think of his name. He is a Disney store with original tags. And there's what he looks like. Little beanie. He's a beanie. Oh, look at this little elf. Um, this one is by... Silly Slammers. Oh! Oh, 
Is that what he's supposed to do? Oh, he lit up. I don't know if he's that's the sound he makes or not. He may be losing his battery. Um, I'll have to do a little YouTube search. Let's see. Elton, number 57. All right. Oh, look at this. Is this from The Simpsons? How cute is this guy? I think he's from The Simpsons. Yeah, The Simpsons. Uh, Universal Studios, Simpsons. So I will have to do a little research on him. Never sold one of these. He's really cute. This is a little um, Build-A-Bear McDonald's toy. So at one time, I'm not sure what year it was, McDonald's, 2013, they gave out little mini uh, Build-A-Bears. All right, we have this, um, what's it called, a seahorse. Oh, it's a Build-A-Bear. So now we have a big build bear and oh my goodness, look, it's got the little seahorse attached to it. How cute is that? I have never seen this one either. So I'm definitely gonna have to look that one up as well. You guys, so when, when I talk about plush and I've had some people message me asking me about what their plush is worth. I don't know. I am definitely not a plush expert. I get plush and I do Google Lens and I look at the tag and I look things up. And if I can't find it, I do an auction starting kind of high and just hope for the best. And if it doesn't sell, I relist it at a buy it now. So honestly, um, most plush I don't know about. There are some things I've sold before and I'm like, oh, I know to pick that up. But whether or not it's bread and butter or big money, I don't always know that. I just pretty much pick up plush, plush if it's cheap. This is super cute. Imperial Palace, official mascot, Ippy from 1999. So if I did not know what this was, if it didn't give me that information on the tag, I would take my phone and I would use Google Lens and I have a video showing you how to use Google Lens. I'll pop that up here and try to remember to link it in the description, but that's how I would look it up. And then I would, after I found out what it was called, I would go to eBay and I would search solds high to low. Um, but you can also search solds low to high, but sometimes people don't price things right. So uh, you just got to be careful and look at all the comps. This is a little Fisher Price 2008 Mattel. Never seen that before. So I don't know what that goes to. Maybe, um, I don't know. See, I would use Google Lens on that one. All right, we have a Tweety. Um, it kind of looks like a genie, like genie in a bottle. Ooh, it's got some... It looks like it might have stuck to something. Play by play. Not familiar with this at all. Uh, 1999. So this one is vintage as well. How cute is that? Really good condition. Super fun. This is a super fun box or yeah, box. It was a box of plush. Okay. Most people know that I like to part things out. Um, so this looks like it might be a part to something. 2002 Barbie. Um, yeah, hopefully Google Lens can help me find this because I have no idea. So that'll be fun. Cut this stitch. Okay, so it looks like um, this may be from the original packaging and they're connected right now, but it looks like you're supposed to unconnect them. So 2002. This is a Steelers Beanie Stuart 10, and this one is the QB Club. So it looks like a Beanie Baby, but it's not. It's a, uh, I just listed one of these. Salvino's Bammers. I just listed one of these, I think. I can't remember if I put it in a lot or not. Those definitely you're gonna wanna look up individually to see what comps say. Oh, look at this little cutie pie. She is um, an owl and she's got a little uh, keychain. Hatchimals, and this is from 2017. This might be like a blind bag pickup, which some of those can be very collectible depending on how rare they are. And we have a Beanie Boo. So um, the ones with the big eyes, this one does not have sparkly eyes. Sometimes they have glitter in them and you can call them sparkly eyes. This one is Alpine, and it looks like we've got one more little plush in here. Oh, wow. He's fun. He looks old, too. 
Uh, this one is also by Fisher Price Mattel 2013. So, like Donatella Bottolino says, someone is looking for this. So, we will get that listed. And again, I've never seen it before, but there are so many things I have never seen. And that is what I love about this job. I mean, where else can we go to get a job where we get to go out and buy things that we have no clue about? We can look them up on the internet and then we can sell them for a profit. I mean, come on, we have the best job ever. The best job ever. It's so funny. I was thinking about it the other day and I want to know if I'm alone here. Um, does anybody else... Oh, I forgot my big old, there we go. Now, now we have a display photo here. Um, does anybody else feel like they don't like listing things from their house? Like everybody says, just list stuff from your house. I don't know about you, but like, I am not excited to list things from my house. Like I want to go source it and find it and, you know, do things that I don't know about like this. I don't want to list things from my house. I know I should, but if anyone else is guilty of not wanting to list their personal items, let me know in the comments. Um, this box came from Sheila. This is her eBay store. She is going to be listing reseller boxes. All right, Bolo Buddies, make sure you go down and check out AEG's uh, Estate Treasures. I will have her link down below. She is doing some reseller lots, so... Uh, follow her store. And thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope some of these tips help you guys to increase sales. Uh, some of them I need to be taking my own advice because I'm just not getting to it. But life is busy. So you guys just do what you can. Do the best you can. Don't be hard on yourself. List when you can. And you know, a lot of you guys are part-time and work other jobs and all of those things come into play. For example, I also do YouTube. I am putting out a video every single day. That cuts into my eBay time. So would my sales be higher if I was spending more time on eBay? Yes. Am I gonna be hard on myself because I can't spend as much time on eBay? No, because I have made the decision to do YouTube also. So for those of you that work other jobs, take that into consideration. You know, we also have our daily live. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just keep listing, do the best you can. And thanks for watching.